Hi, and welcome to another edition of Gear Basics. My name's Trevor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to pack for Havasu Pie. Now Havasu Pie is obviously in the desert down the Grand Canyon, so it can be very hot and very rocky, and the hike can be anywhere from eight to 10 miles about. So with any trip, it's good to pack as light as we can. Now with Havasu Pie, there are certain elements that will make this a little bit easier. Now we'll start off with kind of our shelter. For me, I decided to go with a hammock instead of the traditional tent. Now a hammock can be much lighter weight um, and save several pounds right off the bat over a traditional tent. We also have our blue tarp for rain protection and also for shade. It's really nice to have shade down there. It's obviously very hot and very sunny. Now you'll notice I don't have any sort of sleeping bag. Now at night, the overnight lows can be anywhere from 60 to 70 degrees, so it may not be necessary to take a sleeping bag. I did, however, bring an emergency bivy or emergency sleeping bag just in case it got a little bit chilly than I was anticipating. Next, we'll go on to cooking gear. I decided to bring a lightweight aluminum kettle, um, a four ounce canister, and of course, my little striker for starting my stove. Now for the stove, I decided to bring the Optimus Vega. Now I chose this stove for a particular reason. It's very lightweight, just over six ounces. You have a very low to the ground and sturdy base that'll hold bigger pots or anything smaller if you need to. Also very fuel efficient, almost double the efficiency of other common stoves. For food, I prefer Backpacker's Pantry or Mount House Meals. Dehydrated meals are a lot lighter weight. A little bit of boiling water will turn them into an awesome backcountry meal. Another good idea would be uh, hot oatmeal or top ramen. Very inexpensive, very lightweight options for food. Then of course we got your utensil, my titanium long spoon, my best friend. And then for trail snacks, lots of cliff bars, shot blocks, and anything else that you like. Beef jerky is also one of my favorites. Another thing I enjoyed while I was down there was drink mix. The Camelback Elixir was awesome. A couple dropped uh, tablets inside your hydration bladder and you got electrolytes without even slowing down. Awesome. Now to clothing. Of course it's always, always a good idea to take a hat for shade. I like a ball cap. A wide brim hat would also be a very good idea. Covering the back of your neck and all around your face. Of course, some sweet sunglasses, protect your eyes, make you look cool. Another thing that I found very useful down in Havasu Pie was a pair of water shoes. So when you're playing around in the water, it can protect your feet and also um, not make your hiking shoes wet for the hike home. Now you can use an old pair of running shoes or just something that's really lightweight so it doesn't add weight to your pack. All right. My nice comfy short sleeve hiking shirt, just in case it gets a little bit hot, I also just play around in the water with. And a pair of shorts that doubled as a swimming suit. That way, two pieces in one saves you weight there too. Now one piece that I was really happy I had was a, a long sleeve lightweight shirt. Now this allowed me to be cool during the hot parts of the day, and it's also UV protected to protect me from any types of sunburn and things like that. Also brought my trusty convertible zip-off pants here from Sherpa. It gives me again two pieces in one, so if I want a pair of shorts for when it's hot, or a pair of long pants for when it's a little bit too sunny or a little bit chilly. Um, and very important to have good hiking shoes or boots. You may want to wear uh, tennis shoes down there. The terrain can be a little bit rocky, and a, a running shoe is a little bit of a softer sole, so you may get sore feet after a while if those rocks poking through. Something a little bit more geared towards hiking, like a boot or a shoe, will have a stiffer sole and will get, let you get away from stuff like that. Now with anything in the outdoors, it's a good idea to avoid any types of cotton in your clothing. Keep them to a minimum or avoid them altogether, especially with socks. I chose um, a pair of synthetic socks from Darn Tough, very well fitted and extremely padded. Also, I avoided wool because wool can be a little bit hotter and went with a straight synthetic, like a polyester or a polypropylene. All right, now to some of your more general camping gear. Of course, you're gonna want your trusty first aid kit, an, an emergency poncho just in case, 
probably not going to rain down there, but you don't want to be caught unawares. Also, very lightweight, very inexpensive. Got my Princeton Tech Viz headlamp. A lot of the hiking that I did down in Havasupai was during the night, in the early parts of the morning, to avoid the heat. Of course, sunscreen and bug spray is a very good idea. You may feel the need to take something a little bit larger, but try and keep it small to keep down on some weight. And of course, a hydration bladder or um, water bottles to hold your water. I prefer a hydration bladder. It's a little bit lighter weight than water bottles and will help you um, take a little bit more water <laughs> and use as a uh, water storage around camp. Now you notice I don't have any sort of water filter or water purification device. They do have a pure spring down in the campgrounds. It may be a good idea to take some purification tablets just in case something goes wrong and you run out of water a little bit earlier than you were planning. Um, and of course, my trekking poles. I love trekking poles, um, especially in Havasupai. The train can be very steep on the way down and on the way back up. Trekking poles can take a lot of pressure off your joints and also help keep good posture as you're hiking to help your back. Now some more optional pieces of gear that I really enjoy down have a soup pie. My nice lightweight Eno speakers so I can listen to jam some tunes around camp. My cell phone of course to keep the jams going and also to take lots of pictures. It's very nice to have around. And then my solar panel from Power Traveler kept everything going the whole time. So that's kind of what I packed for Havasu Pie. You may want to look and do some research and pack to your specific needs and also check things like temperature and if there's any chance of rain while you're going.